All right, this is Niz with NizCast episode 9, and we're going to be looking at warding once again for the third time in a row. Um, do want to clarify one thing, uh, actually two things from my last video that I didn't really make it clear. When you're warding um, bottom here behind the tower, um, right in that position, if you chop this tree down with a hatchet or an ability or uh, runes of blight, it actually does allow you to see up. Um, that's just a nifty little trick that you should be doing as well if you have the opportunity to to just basically scout um, any enemy movement there um, so that they can't get behind you when you're trying to push the tower or surprise you from the side. Um, obviously they still have the road above but yeah. Also you can do the same thing around uh, here with this ward. You can uh, just basically make it so you get a sliver of light going down and you can see any, any enemy movement uh, moving down the lane like that. Anyways on to uh, this episode um, and what I want to be covering. Uh, I want to be covering uh, types of wards that you can use to see enemy movements, um, to set up ganks, protect against ganks, those kind of things. Um, obviously, you know, I've talked about this ward spot, I think, in every single video um, right here. That sees the rune, and it's a good defensive ward if you're Hellborn. Because um, if you're Hellborn in the lane, you can see uh, any ganks coming from mid, and it's a good way to just ward and see the rune. Um, but it's a really good defensive ward for Legion as well, um, because Hellborn can't just walk into uh, the jungle here and surprise you from the side. You're going to see them, and you're going to be able to react. So it's a good ward either way. Um, the one in front of the tower, like I said, um, with one of these two wards, uh, if Hellborn goes to gank you and your Legion bottom, um, it definitely sets up a lot of ganking potential. Um, you can counter gank while they set up at the side when they don't realize that you know they're there. Um, your team can port in and jump them. However, if they've got this warded, they're going to see that, right? So all the different wards kind of work hand in hand. Um, some other spots, uh, the one standard one in the jungle here. Um, it this, this ward isn't just to show when someone's creeping here. It's to basically show enemy creep paths and patterns. Um, so you can see enemy movement, where they're going, where they're in the where they are in the jungle, because this basically allows you to see. Yes, they're there, but okay, now they went over here. Now they're here. Now they're you know heading over to the easy camp. Um, these are all like, as you get a little bit higher in play, people make a lot less mistakes, and their farm's a little bit more static or predictable, um, in the sense that you know that someone's not going to farm inefficiently. They're going to farm as efficiently as they can. So you pretty much know how they're going to go through the jungle if you've spotted them at one point. Um, so a ward like this really helps figure out where that person's going. Um, and it, it helps you get inside their head and figure out where they're going to be. So it's all about prediction. Um, but, you know, people counter ward that all the time. You can ward, uh, like, down here further. Um, but that gets counter warded too. If you're in a big counter ward, war, you know, you can ward over there. You can ward over here. All these... Um, this one actually sees that ramp, or you can even put it over a little bit if you don't want to. Um, all these wards basically cover the same thing. Um, they're all tracking that enemy movement through the jungle, trying to predict where they are. Um, the ward over here um, does somewhat of the same thing. It figure out figures out where the heck you're going. Um, not really as valuable as the other one, um, but it does b d definitely have its merits um, because it does give you a little bit more insight towards the middle lane. Um, a word that a lot of people think is kind of useless, uh, this one right here, because it doesn't see the rune. It's got all this blind spot. This is this vision from that other ward. Um, and it's kind of bad. It doesn't really see anything over there. What this is, is this is actually a defensive ward for mid. Um, if you're Legion mid. Um, because if you're here, it'll basically spot any gank coming from bottom lane, coming up through here coming um, up this ramp to get to mid or you know through that path to mid or even up here to mid so basically it covers all the possible ways that you're going to get ganked f mid from the right hand side obviously you're going to be exposed on the left a little bit but the more dangerous position is coming from that bottom lane hitting you from there so these wards all help protect this ward helps protect you from that um, and you know uh, Hellborn can do the same thing with a ward over here um, the ward over here is pretty common um, to basically prevent against the same thing. Um, it tracks, sees any enemies going through there, coming down here, hiding in the trees, just coming straight on. Um, 
Same kind of idea. It just basically shuts that down, tracks enemy movement. Um, you see this spot warded a lot. Um, some sometimes you know that's or either of these are used for when your legion pushing the mid tower. But you know later on in the game, it's not bad as a defensive ward for Hellborn, seeing you going into their jungle and they can figure out where you're going. Um, but you know legion might be able to use it as well. Once again, tracking enemy movement, figuring out where they're going in the jungle. Um, the ward up here at the uh, pillar does the same kind of thing, you know, allows you to see where that enemy is going, predict where he's going to be in, you know, 20 seconds from now. Um, I, I talked about this one the other day, uh, well, the other episode, sorry, um, and it's the same thing, figuring out where they're going, that's a place that doesn't actually get counter warded too much. Um, this is the ward I was talking about the other day, which is amazing. Um, that's more of a defensive ward for when you're legion top. Uh, if you look over it, you can see a lot, and especially if you knock down this tree, it can see even further. But yeah, that's a really awesome ward. It can see a ton of stuff. Um, ward that was used against me the other day, which really ended up in one of my deaths. Um, there's kind of a good ward for uh, Hellborn side, trying to figure out everything that's going on with ganking. It sees, uh, see it basically sees everything that this ward does, except it doesn't see the port in. Um, actually, I think I have to put that down a little bit. But um, it doesn't see the, the port in, but it does basically see, okay, there's people gathering here, you know, they're going into the jungle here, this ward will see that, or they're setting up whatever. The, the ward sees it, which is, you know, a good way. You know, if you know where they're going, then it's pretty easy to set up a counter gank. Um, uh, I talked about this ward as well, um, Legion warding that, uh, same thing, it covers, you know, vision going through the jungle, um, trying to figure out where people are going, whether they're at this camp, whether they're going up to the easy camp, whether they're going up here, because, um, you know, if you've just seen them come from the easy camp, come down here, and you see them go to the right, well, you know they're going to kill this camp, and then this camp. Or, you know, you see them go off to the right, then they're going there, and then who knows where they're going to go. They'll probably, you know, farm inefficiently and come all the way up here, depending on the creep spawns, kill that, and then kill that. So, like, just by having this one piece of vision, you can pretty much figure out which route someone's going to take going through the jungle. This is really, really important to get a grasp of and use your wards effectively to figure out and predict where enemies are going to be. And that's, that's the number one thing when... Uh, you're looking at being an effective ganker is using your wards effectively. But I'm going to cover that in another video, so uh, not now. Um, a great ward for when you're ganking middle as Hellborn, um, right there. It basically allows you to um, see everything that's going on here instead of being in the fog. You know, say uh, say the creeps are right in the middle and you're, you know, your ally's down there, he can't see across, he can't see up here, and you're trying to set up a gank on this guy. Well, if this ward if you have this ward, it allows you to see everything there. Um, so he's not in fog, and it's a lot easier to come out, and just, bam, easy easy stun on him. Um, obviously, it's pretty easy either way with Andrew, but it allows you to come out at the proper time. Um, you know, a ward here is kind of interesting as well. Kind of helps you push that middle tower as Hellborn. Um, it tracks, you know, what the enemies are doing. It tracks across there. Anything setting up. Um, trying to set up anything fishy. Um... The pillar obviously helps you figure out where an enemy is in the jungle. It's not that great. Uh, oh, yeah, I covered this for, you know, Hellborn ganking mid. Legion basically has the same thing over here. Um, probably should have mentioned that. Um, it's, it's just basically the same thing, you know, giving you that vision so you know when to jump out. Um, these wards are also actually pretty good, or even wards like, you know, just there or... Anywhere that basically the tower isn't going to see them. These are all wards that are actually pretty good when you're laning against Devour or mid. Because um, it, it, it allows you to see up that hill so you can see where Devour is trying to set up and land a hook on you. So then you can just hide behind the creeps and use them as, uh, uh, I don't know, some, some block thing. I, I can't really think of the word right now. Uh, I'm having a little brain fart there. But anyways... Um, I hope you kind of got an idea of these wards and how they can help you predict where an enemy's going. Um, just trying to think of a couple other ones here. There's uh, you know this one which lets you see the enemy ancients, um, so you can see you know when they've stacked. 
if they stack this to three times, then you can come in when they're trying to kill it. Kill them, gank them, and then take their stack, which is pretty awesome. Um, or you can just, you know, block it all together, which, eh, is alright. Uh, uh, Hellborn can do the same thing. It's actually a little bit better for Hellborn, um, because they can just ward this position. As I get over there. They can ward, uh, this position, which I mentioned the other day. Um, which, you know, allows them to see Rune, allows them to see a lot of what's going on in the other lanes. And it allows them to keep track and keep dibs on, uh... Uh, what's going on with the ancients? You know, if they've got a Minotaur or whatever that keeps stacking it, um, you know, y you can keep track of that, and then y maybe you can even go in and just steal it from them, rather than you know ganking them and then stealing it. Um, I think that pretty much covers most of the wards that you're going to be using to um, help yourself gank, help yourself defend against gank, because these are all wards that cover enemy movement, and you can basically see where they're going and help predict where they're going. Um, but yeah, it, the most important thing to know about these wards is you don't have to use them all the time. They're very situational wards. Um, like, you can't be using you know this one I mentioned earlier, which is the defensive uh, ward for Legion mid. You can't be using that all throughout the game because it's not really going to help that much. It doesn't see as much as some other ward placements that you could use. So, you know, there's each of these wards are all situational and they all help at different times in the game. And you can't just continually ward them throughout the game like you could a, a rune ward or something like that. Um, so it's important that you understand at what point of the game you have to use these wards. And you're going to have to experiment with that and, f and be a little flexible about that. It's really, really hard to explain without having an, a an exact game to show you and say, this is probably the right time to do it. Um, but definitely experiment with it. Try to use some of these wards, figure out what an enemy is doing and help them um, allow you to gank. Some of the more standard wards that, you know, cover the runes or, you know, are on the pillars might be a little bit more beneficial or one like here um, by this ruin might be a little bit better to start off with. Um, but then you can definitely, as you get more comfortable, um, switch into using some of the other wards. Anyways, this was NizCast episode 9. Hope you learned a lot about warding. Um, definitely stay tuned for my next episode.